Today, it finally happened. Intel's XESS gets reviewed, NVIDIA confirms their RTX 4000 cards, and AMD's RX 7900 XT is a monster. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, if you saw my recent video, you know that Ethereum, the cryptocurrency that played a big role in causing the GPU shortages, was moving to proof of stake, which is a way of validating transactions on the blockchain without mining. And that would mean miners are effectively done on the platform. Well, believe it or not, they actually did it. Ethereum has officially moved to proof of stake, and it's no coincidence that GPU prices are at their lowest point. For example, an RTX 3090 Ti hit below a thousand dollars at one point. Of course, the upcoming RTX 4000 cards imminent release, which I'll get to in a minute, could have something to do with that. But the RTX 3070 also just reached below MSRP with the promo code. The CEO of Accelerate FT recently tweeted that a flood of NVIDIA GPUs was going to go on sale. Basically, with the demise of Ethereum mining, crypto miners will either have to move to a less profitable currency or simply sell their GPUs. And that, of course, means that GPU prices will likely continue to fall. But first, as tech enthusiasts, you know the importance of privacy online, between companies watching your every move to prying eyes hoping to steal your data. Protecting your privacy has never been more important, and you know that a VPN is great for that, but you don't have to break the bank to get a great one. And that's where today's sponsor comes in, Atlas VPN, the VPN that offers the best tools at a fraction of the price. But it also means unblocking some of your favorite shows from Netflix, streaming in 4K, and use on unlimited devices. I mean, they even have a tool that monitors data breaches and all of that is just $1.99 a month for three years when you visit my link in the description. And don't worry, because if you're not satisfied, they have a great 30-day money-back guarantee. So don't wait and visit my link in the description to get this great deal today. Next up for today, in a new video by Digital Foundry, they got an exclusive look at Intel's upcoming XESS upscaling tech, and it's not bad for a first go. Remember that XESS is similar to Nvidia's DLSS, in that it utilizes machine learning to upscale the frames. AMD's FSR, on the other hand, does not. The downside is that DLSS and XESS require certain GPU cores to use the machine learning. When it comes to XESS, you can see that there are four quality modes, each giving a different level of performance uplift and quality loss based on the starting resolution. The ultra quality mode is one that's different from AMD or Nvidia but offers the highest quality yet least amount of performance increase. As far as the performance uplift, it mostly depends on the fidelity of the game, with some getting a pretty big Big uplift and others not so much. Whether you want the most performance or the highest quality is of course a personal preference, but XESS looks to be coming along nicely. With that said, there are some glitches that Digital Foundry discovered, so there's clearly more work to be done. Time will tell if Intel can iron these out. Next up, NVIDIA looks to have confirmed the upcoming RTX 4000 release. If you've been following the channel, to which if you want to stay up to date on all things PC hardware, make sure you're subscribed to GamerMelt. But if you already are, you know that NVIDIA's GeForce recently shared a teaser video with hashtag Project Beyond on Twitter, with a Go Beyond event on the 20th of this month. Well, the company has now confirmed that it will in fact be their next-gen GPUs, as they shared a new video on Twitter with the same hashtag. The tweet says, quote, the future has a past, and in the video it shows a diagram for the computation by the engine of the numbers of Bernoulli, and that chart was originally created by Ada Lovelace in 1843. Of course, we've known for quite a while now that NVIDIA's next-gen gaming GPUs were codenamed Ada Lovelace, so this essentially confirms that the September 20th date will in fact be the announcement of NVIDIA's next-gen GPUs. Not only that, but in the video it shows a monitor with a sticky note on it, and believe it or not, it gives us some interesting information. The 629 is likely in reference to the die size being 629 millimeters squared. Then the 7538 could reference the number of transistors being 75.38 billion. Then we have 208, which some believe to be the performance increase of 2.08 times. Of course, these are more or less speculation, but given the leaks, they sound about right. The numbers are almost certainly not right random or an actual number, so it makes sense. Either way, NVIDIA's next gen is officially coming, and it's just days away. 
And lastly for today, while we've seen a ton of leaks on Nvidia's next-gen GPUs, we haven't heard much on AMD's RX 7000 cards, minus the tease AMD did at their Ryzen event. Either way, that's now changing. In a new story by Igor Zlab, who's been a very trustworthy leaker in the past, he shared a graphic that's of the board for an RX 7900 XT. As he mentions, the graphic is of real circuit boards and blueprints. He's just not allowed to share that. Either way, there's a lot of information we can get from this. For starters, we can see that there are 12 GDDR6 modules, which means that it comes with up to 24 gigabytes of memory, a decent step up from the 6900 XT. Next, there are 21 voltage converters in his example with the card getting 8 phases, which according to Igor, is in line with the trend from Nvidia. The board Igor is seeing comes with one HDMI port and three display ports. When we look back at the card, it has three 8-pin power connectors. The final card may get the 12-pin PCI Express 5.0 connector, but for now, that gives it a maximum of 450 watts. Finally, when it comes to the GPU itself, we can see that there are six MCDs and one GCD, which is exactly what was leaked so far. And that brings me to the most recent leaks on specs. So far, we're looking at a GPU with 96 compute units, which may not sound like much, but the core count per compute unit has apparently been doubled, so the 7900 XT would come with a whopping 12,288 cores, which for anyone keeping up is well over double the core count of AMD's RX 6900 XT. Basically, while Nvidia's next-gen cards are looking quite impressive, so are AMD's. We'll have to wait and see who will come out on top. So while that does it for today, what do you think is more important when it comes to your GPU? Performance, no matter the power draw or efficiency? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out Atlas VPN down in the description below. And as always, have a great day.